So in today's video, I am going to be working with Dollar Tree wood items. Look at these chunky mushrooms that I picked up in the Dollar Tree out of the craft store section. I was so excited to see these chunky pieces because I know exactly what I wanted to do with them. The Dollar Tree has been putting out some really nice chunky wood pieces for the last couple of seasons. Now this little wood piece sign tray, whatever it is, I'm going to be using that with these pieces here. What I'm going to do first is start off by painting all of these pieces, all three pieces using this Waverly Snow White chalk paint. So today I am collaborating with Donna from the Creole Crafter and I'm going to tell you a little bit about her now and a little bit more later on in today's video. Me and Donna have been supporting each other for some time now by watching each other's video, commenting and hitting the like button and I have grown so fond of Donna. She is just so kind and you'll be able to Hear that in her voice voice, and see that in her projects. She does the most beautiful farmhouse decor and her distressing is so good. Donna is trying to reach a thousand subscribers and I want us to help her by checking the description box below and showing Donna some support. I want to say thank you to my supporters for watching my videos, subscribing, commenting, and hitting the like button. I'm truly grateful. And Donna will be too. She's just that kind. So please do me a huge favor. Check out Donna's channel. It's going to be in the description box below. And you're only going to be a click away from some more inspiration. If you like what you see when you head over to Donna's channel, subscribe. Show her some love. I promise you, you're not going to be disappointed because Donna is a gem. And her personality and her kindness, you are going to be able to see and hear that when you head over to her channel. Donna, I cannot wait to see what you created. And I'll be over to watch you soon. So now that I have got that done, I am uh, going to be using this round foam brush out of that pack from the Dollar Tree to create the dots on my mushrooms and I'm going to be doing it on the front and the back. I am going to be creating a little night light to style. In my bedroom I always change the decor around my little chair that I have that I sit in and watch TV, read books or etc. And I found some cute um mushroom decor at five below you know i love five below and i was so excited to find these wood chunks in the dollar tree and i knew exactly what i was going to create with them so after i finished creating my polka dots um on the top of my mushroom then i'm going to attach them to the little white um, wood piece that i also painted from the Dollar Tree but I'm going to bring in these fairy lights from the Dollar Tree and what I'm going to do is just kind of cluster the, the string of lights right in the center of one of the mushrooms and I'm only going to be attaching it by the string part. I do not want to tack down the battery pack because I need to be able to pull the battery pack from behind the mushroom stem just in case I have to change out the batteries. Um, turn it on and off so I just want to be able to slide the battery pack from up behind the stem this turned out really really cute I absolutely love it so now I am going to attach my first mushroom all the way to the rim of the wood base and then I'm going to attach the other mushroom and as you can see the battery pack is loose and once I tack it down I'm going to show you how you just pull the battery pack in and out and it's really simple and easy it just hides right in between the two stems as you can see i can turn it on and push it right back in how adorable is this night light i'm just taking this um little sanding nail file and distressing around the mushroom and that is it this is absolutely adorable and look at the cute little planner i found at five below and these are the little mushroom items i found at the dollar tree and how cute is the pillows that i picked up at five below as well i just always change out my cute little <laughs> decor where i sit in my bedroom and i absolutely love it now for my next project, how cute was these feather leaves, feathers? 
these wood feather leaves that's what we're gonna call them from the Dollar Tree I was excited to see these as well so I'm gonna be using a four for this project because this is going to be a pair so I'm gonna be using two for each um, piece I'm just cutting off the jute hanger now I wanted to seal the hole that was at the top but I didn't have any plaster so I tried to use this caulk and it really didn't do a good job so um, my little plaster from the Dollar Tree works perfect um, maybe I did this wrong I don't know but it still turned out okay but it didn't do a good of a job as the plaster usually do so I did close the hole with well I did apply this to all of the holes and try to close them um, on each one and then I just used that file to sand off the excess after I got that complete I used that fern color chalk paint that I love so much that pretty green and I painted all of these pieces I want to remind you again that I'm collaborating with Donna from the Creole crafter and I'm going to have her information linked in the description box below so that you can be a click away from some more inspiration and as I mentioned earlier Donna is so sweet and so kind and I'm sure you're going to really enjoy her channel if you're coming over from Donna's channel I want to say welcome thank you so much for stopping by and I really do hope you enjoy today's video so I'm also going to be pairing these with these wood squares from the Dollar Tree and uh, here are the little wood squares and what I'm going to do is attach them on the spots right next to each other. As you can see, I might not explain that correctly, but you can see where I'm going to attach them. Now, you can use some wood glue, which I recommend, but I did put the Gorilla Glue sticks in there, and they really do pretty good. So that's all I'm going to use for these projects. Um, I really do love how these turned out as well. And I am going to be creating a cute little nightlight for my sweet nephew bedroom legend and I'm trying to figure out I don't know which video I'm going to add that to but I did use these um little cubes and it just reminded me of the little nightlight that I'm going to make and so now that I have both of them attached now I'm going in with some of that wood stain um, that I use and I'm going to stain the little wood cubes and I'm also going to distress my feathers with this as well all around the trimming um i'm so out of frame i don't know why but um i hope you can see that i'm just staining the base and then i'm going to go around the trimming of these feather leaves yes that's what we're going to call them today they're feather leaves and so i'm just distressing all around them and even in the the center like the middle where i connected the two together as well i absolutely love these these are so cute you can style candles on these you can style faces little arrangements i just think these are so adorable and i really do love how they turned out and here they are these are so cute so i just style like a little vase that I had with an air plant in them and then I have a little propagation there with this cute little animal this is a little tiger a leopard I got that from five below for three dollars and I thought that was so adorable I really really do love how these turned out the Dollar Tree really put out some cute wood items that you can customize to fit your home and you have some beautiful decor on the budget now these next two pieces are really simple i love these signs in the dollar tree and it's just a cute base to create something from your for your home now i have this little leaf here and this was a coaster from the dollar tree out of a four pack and i actually use these coasters but i wanted to use this one to just make me a cute little sign so as you can see i'm using a marker that i also got from the dollar tree and i'm just tracing this um, little coaster I absolutely love these coasters. I the Dollar Tree put these out like um, a couple of years ago because I didn't have this same pack for maybe like two years, but I did see that they put these out along with I believe some flamingos this year as well. Um, and I did pick up another pack because that's how much I love these coasters. So after I get everything traced out for the little holes, I'm just um, going in with the marker. Um, fully covering those in and then I'm going to use that um, fern color 
paint and paint the inside and I'm just using a small brush and I just filled in the stem at the bottom with a little marker and I'm just going to go around till I cover this in I really do uh, love this how it came out it I love that it's like hand painted and it's not like super perfect but it's super perfect <laughs> If you know what I mean, it's not super perfect, but it's super perfect. I like it. So I'm just going to go in and finish painting that. Now, I did pull out a sheet, a transfer um, sticker sheet that I had. Um, and I'm going to add some wordings right to the side. Now, I pull, I cut out the ones that says love, peace, and joy. I laid it on there and I'm just using a Cricut tool to go over the words and then you can mod podge over this when you finish to protect everything i didn't do that right away but i'll go back and go over it because i really do love this piece so i want to protect everything and this is just so adorable it just fits the vibe and i absolutely love it Now here's another way to use those signs, but this one is a heart shaped one with the beaded string. So, so cute. I am going to use that wood stain and I'm going to stain over this sign. And then I'm bringing in one of these cute little boxes here from the Dollar Tree with a little butterfly cut out. I'm gonna stain that piece as well. This is another cute way to style those signs from the Dollar Tree because those are some really nice signs. So you have a nice base to create something for your home that fits perfect to your style, your decor. And so this is just another way, simple, easy, budget-friendly way <laughs> to use those signs. So what I'm going to do is just attach this to the sign, making sure that the butterfly open is in the front. And I'm gonna add a little candle holder that I picked up from the Dollar Tree it fit perfect in the inside and you can use this as a candle holder you can style one of your propagations in here you can use this for storage it is just that cute and here is how it turned out and I added one of those little LED candles and I just think it's cute with a little butterfly cutting and I'm also going to style one of my propagations in here as well which is probably what I'll be doing but I really do love the simplicity of this and how it turned out and I think, think this is just a really cute simple piece for your home. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. And remember, I am teaming up with my friend Donna from the Creole Crafter. So make sure after watching this video, you check the description box below for the link to hers and subscribe to her channel as well. Donna is trying to reach her thousand subscribers. So let's get her there, friends. I am truly grateful and I appreciate your support and I'm sure Donna will too. Until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.